Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So today we're going to be looking at a very useful feature from the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus or the Tab S7. I'm sure it has it as well, which is the DeX feature. But before doing so, I have some things laid out because this is how I use mine when I'm in workstation mode. If I'm somewhere or, you know, I just don't want to be uh, at my uh, regular location in the office doing it, working on a laptop or the Mac, I, I can set up this workstation mode anywhere. Now, the tablet has DeX, but let's make DeX better by getting a keyboard combination mouse for very affordable. Now, this is the Logitech setup. I tend to love Logitech products, especially their keyboards and mice, uh, and I just think this is a great combination here. I've had this for over a year. It still works like brand new. The keyboard is actually better than my Apple keyboard that I purchased for my Mac, so I actually use this with my Mac, too. This is like my go-to keyboard now. Uh, it's really nice, lightweight, it's got a thin profile, uh, it's just really nice, and the traveling feedback on the keys is actually really, really good. So I think if you find something like this, you don't have to buy this particular one. I don't get any kickbacks when you buy this Logitech keyboard or anything like that. I'm just letting you know what I use, so if you wanted to get a good setup for your 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 tablet, this could be an alternative method for you. So. This keyboard combination is 49 bucks. Now the, the Samsung tablet, uh, the Samsung keyboard costs 230 bucks. So I think that's just way overpriced and it's very limited for what you could do with this tablet. So get you a nice keyboard, mice com mouse combination, 49, 50 bucks or less and you're good or buy a very expensive one. It's up to you if this is gonna be your only workhorse. Next, you wanna get something like a hub. Now this Type-C hub, I actually have lots of Type-C hubs, but I like this one because it sits up against the device. There's plenty of hubs out there where it's, it's got the long cable and it hangs. This is one right here that's beneficial to you in a lot of ways because it gives you a headphone jack. And I think that is super important, especially if you're doing some really ed good editing. You need to catch that sound, make sure background is right and things like that. You get a full-size HDMI, you get a full-size USB, and you get the Type-C pass-through. So that is a huge plus. This is from Sateki. The, the link will be down in the description for that. That is $59.00. This was $49, and my stand of choice is from Rinky, and it is a nice metal stand here, folks. This thing is super sturdy, and this is 26 bucks. All of these three things cost less than 230 bucks, and you still have some money to spare, and that is an adjustable stand, uh, and uh, I think you'll really like that stand. It's just one that I, I enjoy. I have other stands that I've gotten for tablets and, and large devices like this one right here. This is one of my favorites if you want to stay planted. But I'll have a link to all of these in the description. So to get into DeX, uh, first I want to go ahead and plug in my, my mouse here. And you just plug in to the side of the computer. It'll recognize it. Uh, it flash, just let me know. Now my mouse is active. Now to get into DeX, you can swipe down here and you press DeX and it'll start DeX up. Now I'm using the OnePlus 9 to record this video. If you're wondering which device I'm using this time, that is the device. So uh, I've got my workstation set up here. Now there's also wireless DeX as well. And I think that is dope. I'll show you a quick demo of that in this video too. Uh, I can put it up to any TV here, but just going over the basic interface of DeX, uh, you've got right click where you can, you know, use the right click on your mouse. Uh, if you go over here to the bottom left, you've got all your apps and everything. They are here ready for you to use. It's a clean interface and you can actually use DeX in this form no matter what. You don't have to use uh, the as a, it as a tablet. If you come down here, these are these are applications that I have pinned at the bottom. Uh, definitely very nice. You've got, you can just open up anything you want here. They're just all there. Uh, and then you've got down here, you've got your notifications on the bottom, um, right. And then you've got your, um, screenshot button right there. You can up, pop up the keyboard if you need to. Uh, and then I keep my tablet on vibrate. I don't like a lot of sound. And then you've got all your information. When you click down there on the battery icon section, you've got all, let me clean this up a little bit for you. If you can get a better view of it. You click right there and you will have uh, access to everything down there. So you can disable DEX by going here or you can go into settings and, and, and disable it. But this is your basically your drop down menu is now over here, which is nice. And you got access to everything. Small disclaimer here. I want to tell you guys when I did the sound test 
for this tablet. I, I forgot to turn on Dolby Atmos. So what you heard there uh, was simply just great sound from a tablet that with, didn't even have the Dolby uh, turned on. So if you want to uh, go wirelessly, you just hit this button right here. It'll find things in the area. It'll probably pick up my 75 or my 65 or my 55. Uh, I think they might have powered down. But in this list, uh, you will have your wireless decks. And that is where you can hook up decks wirelessly. And I think that is probably going to be one of the best things ever um, about this thing. Now, there's a little bit of latency when you're using wireless decks opposed to plugging in. That's something that you have to take note of. Uh, but other than that, uh, it still works just like a regular computer. It's just it's just wireless. That's all it is. Uh, so if you're into if you're in the decks section, you can I have turned on I've turned on auto start when I plug in an HDMI cable, and um, I, I like to keep it like that. If you go down to labs, this is where you want to make the changes to. Uh, and let me change this to turn off dark mode maybe don't look it look better on this reflection you can see the one plus nine reflection there so right here in this section let me just bring it in here this is where you when you're using apps you want all your apps to go full screen this is where you want to click that first one force apps to resize because if you don't some apps like i i had never used power director pro in this mode right here uh and when i opened it the last time it didn't open, it wouldn't allow me to open full screen. Like it wouldn't allow me to do this right here and relaunch it into full screen, which is what you want. You want to launch, you want to work in full screen on here. You don't, you don't want to um, not work in full screen on this beautiful canvas. So that's where you want to go for that. You want to go into labs. Now, you know, wireless decks is very nice. There's, it depends on your connection, your, your internet connection and a lot of different things to whether or not it's going to be real fast. Now, when I say it was a little bit of latency, it's just a little bit, it's nothing bad. Uh, but I wanted to show you a very nice way to use your Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. I think this is going to be beneficial to people more than you think. I actually have been using my tablet like this in like a desktop mode. I really like it. Even without the mouse and keyboard, I have been using it without it because you can you can leave it like this. You don't have to. Um, look, I can just unplug the mouse and keyboard. And now I have a desktop tablet. I think this is dope right here. I think this is definitely the way to use this tablet in a lot of ways. I've already demonstrated the camera for you guys. I've done lots of things on here to try to help you get the most out of your Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Dex and wireless Dex are some of the, those are, that is just the best feature ever when it comes to this tablet. I literally have been using it like this and I totally forgot and I was swiping. I was like, oh, I was trying to turn it in the orientation. I said, like, oh, shoot, I have it in I have it in this workstation mode, this desktop mode. <laughs> so it's up to you to decide how you want to use your tablet. You don't have to purchase any of these things that I've talked about in this video. Uh, but if you decide to, all the links are down below. The Satechi link is actually a discount link. So you might be able to grab like 10 bucks off of some of your products if you order. So you should be able to grab $10 off. I think anything on the site, I think that's how that code works. If you decide to pick up this hub right here, um, again, it's totally up to you, which you to decide what you want to do with your money. I'm just explaining to you, this tablet is absolutely fantastic. And if you decide to, to bring it in and make it a part of your life, you will have a fantastic time using it in with Dex. It is just a work horse. And it's, this has the Snapdragon 865 plus. So that's giving you, uh, some benefits right there with this thin form factor. I just can't believe it. Yeah. As you can see, the pen is kind of stored away back there. I normally have my pen laying down right here for quick access. But it's your man, Jay. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.